It was a worker's sit-in which caught international attention. 30 years ago, employees of the Caterpillar plant in Uddingston locked their managers out in an effort to save 1,200 jobs. The occupation went on to last 103 days, one of the longest in Scottish industrial history. Those who took part believe their struggle has lessons for today's workers. Sharon Frew has been speaking to them. The Caterpillar intends to close the 1.1 million square foot Glasgow, Scotland facility. A shock U-turn sparked this bold move. We are now occupying the plant at Uddingston. The year of 1987 began for Caterpillar workers with many believing that their future was secure. Before Christmas, its American owners had planned to invest £62 million in Uddingston. Weeks later, management reversed this decision and announced the plant's closure. The plant manager saying, the company have a problem and you are a victim of the remedy. Do we chain the gates? Yes. Do we put a perimeter around? Yes, that's what we did. We just went for it. The papers would have tell you you were breaking the law and all the rest, but we were determined, you know. As far as we were concerned, the laws and the rules were broken when Caterpillar decided to close it. Workers seized the plant on the 14th of January 1987. You need to mind at that time, people were out buying houses, buying cars. My, my wife never bought anything in her life, and she bought me an expensive hi-fi. And within three weeks, bang, multiply that by 1,200 times. We had five of a family, and uh, we, we were de really devastated about that. We went out, no the marches, no the bad weather, we aren't in the pram, and all my family around us. We did, we did everything together. Scotland the cans yeah. everywhere and getting the money, and then we got some money for the hardship. Hardship. But I mean, I never let Robert see me cry, so. Mm -hmm. And what were you worrying about? Just everything. Trade union leaders and politicians try to persuade the manufacturing giant to keep the plant open. <laughs> Workers created what became a symbol of their campaign, a tractor dubbed the Pink Panther, which was delivered to Glasgow's George Square and was to be donated to charity. When we were challenged about it, we stole it. We said we didn't steal the Pink Panther. OK, we've got any nuts and bolts and different things. They put it together and made a tractor. That tractor never existed in your plant. And we'll give you it back once you give it your, your jobs back. It disappeared completely. Some say they seen it again by going along the M M8. Uh, others say it went to a scrap yard and it was burned up. No idea. Like the Pink Panther, Caterpillar also disappeared after this campaign. The plant was closed just eight months later and it was flattened to make way for housing. But after 103 days, the workers did secure a better deal and enhanced severance packages. They walk taller for having been part of it. You don't waste your time saying when a thing's wrong, challenging it. You don't waste your time. Maybe you're no success, but somebody else who maybe think that way later on, they might be successful. We didn't win the fight, you know, but in a way we won the war because, you know something, the amount of um, a comradeship that was built out of that, you can't buy that. You just, you just can't buy that. Sharon Frew, STV News, Uddingston.